Hey, it's Gabe with API Nation. Today I'm gonna to show you how you can sync your Zillow leads right into KV Core. As soon as they come in, they're gonna go right into your CRM so you can follow up with them, reach out and start creating that deals. This sync is super robust. It's gonna pull a bunch of different information from Zillow if you want it, and you can put it into KV Core so you can follow up more accurately. And also you can hashtag the lead, you can set the source. There's a lot of great things you can do. Let me show you how to set this up. The first thing you're gonna do is go to apination.com and click on start syncing. You're gonna see a ton of different apps here, marketing apps, productivity apps, and real estate apps. And we're looking for KV Core. So you can scroll down to K, or you can just come over here and search for KV Core. There it is, click on that. And it's gonna show you all the apps you can sync specifically with KV Core. So if you're using KV Core and any of these other apps, Google Contacts, Google Sheets, any of this stuff, you can set up a sync. It's gonna make your life a lot easier. You can automate some of your work. We're doing Zillow leads today. We're gonna to automate that. So I'm gonna click on that. And you can see between KV Core and Zillow leads, I can have Zillow sync right into KV Core. So I'm gonna activate that sync. And the first step to setting this up is to sign into your API Nation account. If you don't have an API Nation account, no problem. Click right here, you can create one. They're totally free to create. Or you can sign in. Or if you want, you have a Google account, you can sign in with your Google account, which is what I'm gonna do. Once you're signed in, now you need to connect Zillow. Super simple, just hit this connect button. It's gonna ask you for a label for the connection. And this is just a name, just in case you have multiple Zillow accounts. Pretty rare that somebody does, but if you are managing, maybe you have an admin for the office and you're setting this up for a bunch of people. But for most people, all you have to do is put in your name and that's good enough for a label. That's good enough for this connection. So you're gonna hit create connection and then you're gonna see you have a connection ID. So you're just gonna grab that, copy it. Then you're gonna go to Zillow, log into the dashboard. You're gonna go up to the top right and click on your profile and then click on settings. Once you're inside, go to the left-hand side and click on app integrations and you're gonna select one way integration click a link app it's going to ask you to choose your partner go ahead and scroll down till you get to api nation and hit next and then it's going to ask for a login email address that is actually going to be the connection id we just copied from the other page and hit save that's it now you've set up the connection we can go back to api nation and click i've completed setup on the zillow website there we go you can see you now have a connection available so i'm going to select it and now we're gonna connect KV Core. Pretty similar, we're gonna hit connect. It's actually just gonna take us out to the KV Core website. We'll sign in and authorize the connection. Very simple. All right, so now we're gonna create our sync. The only option here is if we happen to get a lead from Zillow that matches somebody you already have in your KV Core, should we overwrite this thing in KV Core, that lead in KV Core, or should we just fill in the blanks? I'm gonna tell it to just fill in the blanks and hit subscribe. There we go, we've now created the sync. This is basically ready to go. I can just hit this button at the top and launch it and we're off and running. I just wanna show you two small tools that may be helpful. I'm gonna scroll on down here. The first one is the filter tool. And this is mostly helpful if you're trying to only get specific contacts into a specific area of KV Core. So for example, I'm gonna click on it and you're gonna see all the different fields and options available to sync from Zillow, and if they're available to sync, they're also available to filter on. So for example, here is is flex, or type, or notes, or message. Any of these you can filter on. In general, for leads coming in for Zillow or any of those big lead sources, most agents don't filter at all, they just wanna get them into KV Core. I'm gonna come back to this and explain this a little bit more in a bit after we do some mapping. So if you come down here to mapping, you can see we do most of this for you, the stuff coming in, first name, full name, last name, email, phone. If there's anything else you wanna sync in, you can just hit the plus sign on it and go ahead and sync it right in there. So you can see I can pull the source from the Zillow lead, put it in the system source here. Not only can you sync in fields, you can type in fields too. So maybe I wanna type in Zillow lead. And then every single lead that comes through this sync will get hashtag Zillow lead as it comes through. So go through, map up anything else you want from the Zillow lead into KV Core. And like I said, there is a ton of different stuff we're pulling. 
So coming back to the mapping, one last thing I wanted to touch on is this is great. You could do it no filter and just launch this sink. Sometimes, especially with KV core agents, they wanna do something a little bit more advanced. So what they will do is they will actually filter based on something in here. Maybe it's based on something in the message or maybe it's based on is it a flex lead or something like that. Anything you wanna pull from here that's gonna help you hone the message. And by that I mean, let's say search criteria minimum beds is more than four. Now we're taking any lead where the minimum beds in the search criteria is four or more. So I'm gonna save that. And then what you can do is you can come down here and you can change the hashtag to maybe something like big family. There we go. So then you have an automation syncing leads in and if the beds are more than four, it gets tagged with that hashtag big family. And you can go into KV Core and create a smart campaign geared towards a big family, somebody who's looking for a house of four bedrooms or more. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. You can do it based on bedrooms. If you want to send up a campaign based on a city, a zip code, uh, some information in the message. Maybe you want to say message contains, if they happen to contain a word like military, then you could do that. Set up a hashtag for a military campaign. And just in case somebody does write the word military and into the messages in those leads, they'll get put in your military campaign. So like I said, a ton of different ways to do it. If you're just trying to get the leads in here, just go no filter, maybe come down here and put in a Zillow leads tag, just so you remember where these people came from and you're off and running. So that's it. That's how you sync Zillow leads to KV Core. There's a ton of different options you can do. It's a super robust sync, really easy to set up. It's going to help you improve your speed to lead and also follow up in a powerful way that's going to help you create more deals. If you have any questions or need any assistance setting up this sync, give us a phone call, shoot us an email. We're API Nation and we're connecting the world's applications.